Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. My name is Amino Hassan. I'm joined, as always, by Black Trey, Big Jerv, Jay Skills, Juju Gotti. We got Chase and Cash in the building. What's up, brother? Uh, we've got a great show for you guys today. It's a sports-heavy show because it's a sports-heavy time. NBA playoffs are here, and they're spectacular. You also got uh, the Haney-Garcia fight happening on Saturday night. Afterward, my man said, I, I was drinking every single day. I don't know if y'all saw that shit. It's one of the funniest post-fight press conferences I've ever seen in my life. We'll talk about that. Also, rap beef. We got to keep updating the rap battles and rap beefs. And shit is getting out of control. Niggas is using AI now. Uh, it's, it's, it's The streets ain't safe no more. And also, Juju is in New York City. Or will be. Was in New York City? It was. Yes, for the draft, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I know if I can speak in the in the sacred right. intro. No, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but first things first, patreon.com slash count the things. Make sure you're signed up. Make sure you're locked in. You get all the extra content. You're getting uh the watch alongs, you're getting access to the Discord, you're getting the OG podcast episodes, you're getting the special edition Cinephobe episodes, you're getting access to exclusive live shows. We did the live show in Toronto. We had a limited number that we gave out to Patreons. The next one is either going to be New York or L.A. or Chicago or somewhere in America, basically. So make sure you are on the Patreon so that you can have access to those very, very exclusive events for sure. Patreon.com slash count the things. Also, bit.ly slash CTD merch. We are selling the viral decontextualization hoodies. That's right. It's like the silhouette of my fucked up form on an orange hoodie so it looks kind of like those WNBA hoodies that everybody had for the last couple of years yeah definitely check that out as well a bunch of new merch that we dropped there uh bit.ly slash ctd merch all right let's get to the show um I mean let's get let's, let's get started with with this actually Trey I see you put in the chat 420 is 420 yeah. dead it's dead right nobody gives a fuck anymore what uh, nah a great time yet too. No, yeah. but, I, but I'm saying like it used to be a shit because like it shit it was illegal saturated. because it was illegal. Yeah, now it's, it's illegal. Illegal. yeah. I agree with me. It's it's, it's not, not the vibe is think, the vibe think, is way different. It's not. I think if you're a real smoker, 420 is still a thing. I think if yeah. you're a casual smoker, it ain't shit no more. You feel me? But I think for the real smokers, 420 is really like still a thing. A huge. What'd you do, Chase? Oh, yesterday. So after yesterday, I didn't really get to celebrate it as much as I wanted to. I did get high, but um, but the year before that, I was in Jamaica on 420, and I was blessed oh, wow, to be able to get man. taken on a tour and go to the mountain in Jamaica, smoking the chalice for the first time. You feel me? And really get the chick uh, cool with the rosters, get the real experience of how they use weed and food, how they use it on a daily on like some ritual stuff. So that was like a really really great experience. And I didn't even plan it. I just happened to be out there with some friends and family and uh we just happened to wake up I, I just happened to see the dates and i'm like damn we're gonna be in oh, wow 20 you feel me and we got mm. to so we got to go kick it and go do the whole tour man so that was it was like a real real experience with to be a wee head that was like a real really really great experience but i ain't get to celebrate it like i want to this year Oh, that's say, crazy. That, that, that's some real weed head shit. Like, some fire yeah. shit. like I'm yeah, yeah, accidentally, accidentally was in Jamaica. Yeah, that was a crazy experience. That's fire. Accidentally be here on 420. I mean, I would say the, the best thing about the legalization on 420 is now that we have all these shops, you get deals on weed on 420. Weed is oh, damn near really? free on 420 now. <laughs> because, like, it back before when it was illegal, you still had the cop and you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas, might give, running, niggas might give you a little, you know what I'm saying, deal on, a, you know, whatever, whatever. But, like, it ain't like it is now. The weed shops is texting you. Nigga, days ahead. You pull up to any shop. You're a first-timer. They basically give you free joints, whatever. Like, that's the, the benefit now of the legalization. I didn't Jeremy know that. Like had, Jeremy know. looked like he had a, had a <laughs> like, a, a rebuttal there. <laughs> Uh, uh, I I agree with with Jason as far as like the the uh, the, the shops and shit. I I was fortunate enough to to be out of Cali in LA one one four twenty and you know it was a, it was a dope experience. I went went crazy, you know what I mean. Uh, I I I didn't want anything cheap because their their stuff was such a discounted price. 
that their expensive shit was what I was paying for back east. So I'd look at it as, oh, well, we might as well just keep it how it is and, and, and experience the craziest shit. But I, I, I disagree with, with Chase just slightly, though. I think the holidays actually become kind of like, like watered down to a degree. Like for me, as a as a as a as a as a pothead, like every day, like you know, not the cliche, but every day is four twenty, right? Like I, you know, I don't get any higher on four twenty than I do on a typical day where I'm choosing to just you know go there. You know, what I mean, I, I will possibly partake in edibles a little more on 420 or start my day with an edible as opposed to ending my day with an edible. But I think 420 has turned into the thing where like people that you did not want to smoke weed because it was illegal. Oh, it's so wrong. It's the devil's lettuce, right? Whatever the fuck you want to say, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like whatever you want to say, but now that it's cool on 420, now those people that, that, that like us on St. Patrick's Day, we have no fucking affiliation with St. Patrick's Day, but fuck it. We'll go out and we'll do a car bomb or whatever the fuck shit that we don't do on normal days. That's what it is for, for people that don't really smoke. It's a it's an excuse now that they can smoke and be cool and know that they're not going to get drug tested on 421. Like that, the like the running joke used to always be like, I, that's one thing I haven't seen this year is everyone saying, oh, happy 421, the day where you get the, the random drug test at your job. Like I, I think people are now just like, no longer what's the fight for let's just all love it damn oh, 420, 420 is commercial now that's what you're it's saying. super i think it's super commercial now yo. Bro, i think i got i think i see what's going on right here bro i'm sorry to say this but we already know these things sometimes brothers we are officially washed dads we are not finding the enjoyment in the holidays oh, it's gonna I gonna no the shit. little kids are still having fun on 420. That's why I'm just nigga. I want to share my experience. Like 420 is gonna be popping forever, bro. Like that's it was one so many made, events. Bro. It was so many events in my neighborhood that was like 420 centri like centri centralized. So yeah, I think you just no, there was a ton of events. I'm oh, not yeah, saying yeah, it's yeah. not events. I'm saying that those events now, like it's now like Oh, look at me. Popping, look bro. at me, what I'm doing. I went to people's nah, cribs nah. and people were taking picture of the bong and saying, oh, look he's, at me. He's on being, he's I'm being, like, come he's on, being, man. He's being one of those guys, sadly, unfortunately. <laughs> it's, it should be cool forever. You, like, why y'all no, think it's you, cool now? No, like, no you the fun police, cool. bro. Let, you should be happy that everybody <laughs> right. everybody is relaxed now. So, <laughs> go ahead, me. Yo, Jer sounds like me when it comes to Valentine's Day, when I'm dating a girl, like... Man, every day's Valentine's Day. Every day's Valentine's Day. <laughs> why? Why I need the calendar to tell me? I, I love so, me. so like we had at our we had at our job. Our job actually did some shit where they flipped the name. So you I, know, saw I, I, I saw that. I saw that. We're Wide and Kennedy. We did Weed and Kennedy, and they had the the fucking dispensary come in with the fucking weed bar. And had professional rollers, and you just go. That's just fire. Like, so we pulled up, and somebody made a slack, and you just start seeing all the un the smokers you've never seen, like niggas they never talk to, and be like, oh, this makes sense now, bro. Be blow. He, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, oh, he not a space cadet, bro. Just really be high all the time. So then it was so funny because Chase been to the office before. It's the outdoor deck. Where you could just chill. We're right across the street from the um, what uh, what's that? What's the hotel? Right there on Barrick, right by the old Def Jam joint. You know, I forgot the I name keep, of it. I keep you know what I'm talking about. It. Yeah, your office is next to my office. I, I need yeah, to, I need to come see this shit. So we sitting there, <laughs> and I'm posting on my close friends, so everybody can see, just to, like experience, because like you know, everybody don't want to be seen smoking weed. You know what I mean? They might be PC, but I'm there. And Jerv like, man, this would be the day I was not about to come. like. I would have put it. like, bro, look at this shit. I, I, you know, I don't smoke weed like that, bro. I still got joints. I still got joints. Four twenty is alive and well. It's still good. You feel me? But like the cool <laughs> thing about it, I mean, it felt like how high and half baked. Everybody just had a joint, personal joint in their hand, and was smoking. We had the playlist set up. Niggas, nigga, we had Ooh, one. Run. playing, yo. 
We I had. Feel like, yeah, I feel like I was probably playing some, cool music that I don't have, usually listen to. We had. We had the Bob Marley going. We had the Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> we had the Currencies. We had the Four Twenty Man. We definitely Devin had. Do, we had yeah. Doobie Ass Trey going. You know what I mean? It was some good <laughs> joints on there. No pun. But then we had a professional runner that would go get all the snacks. Oh, that for would real? Get all the pizza. Like it was That's great. Hell. They had water. You know what I'm saying? They had, they had they yeah, had everything like so amazing. Oh my hey, god. Water. Now that sounds like a that sounds fun. Like I, I would like something like that. That sounds it pretty very cool. damn. I, I thought you wouldn't be it like I thought you wouldn't like that gentrification. No, because bro, like being able to okay, I may have always gone to the <laughs> job high, but it wasn't <laughs> like I was supposed to be high at the job the ability to like really just be at the job and like smoke and not have to play the whole is he high is he not high game you know like that that would be dope to me like that's a new experience you, you know what that saying? game you got the you got the high game. the thrill of being high you know what i mean so you just need to cherish that but in these days it's like nigga everybody is like nigga we all get high now you feel me you can just yeah. really say that and not be burnt out but I also right, I like, like I smell like weed, like niggas in the uh, job. That, they see, be that's like, the only thing I want to change. Right? My nigga, I, I oh, Juju, I got you. Don't even trip, brother. I got you, fam. Yeah, you I, got me. Ozium. Ozium. Ozium? Yes. Ozium. That, <laughs> is that, that's, that blue that's, thing? That's hey. a trap nigga. That's a trap nigga secret. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, I told y'all trip this. And you need to blow. Man, you got to get one shot of that Ozium. Give her all that shit, bro. My Yo, Cushion Orange Juice, I, I tell niggas all the time, Cushion yeah. Orange Juice mixtape changed my motherfucking life. And one of the things I took from that shit is I can, you know, allegedly smoke in my hotel rooms. I just need to bring that osium and then I need to turn that AC up as high as it motherfucking can go. I don't give a fuck what time of year it is. You come to my hotel room, that motherfucking AC is blasting, my nigga, because, I, yo, you know. It's, yo, it's crazy that, like, osium is still kind of like a... A, a, a slept on secret. Like you would think, you know, like they should have, they should be like Pedia light and shit. Like, <laughs> right. I don't think like I, that I, kind I qualify of for Ozia. Cause I smoke oh, before original. I do shit every time. It's just problem. No, like, trust me, bro. I smoke no, outside no. the door. No, no, no bro, you, you good. You <laughs> good. One shot of that Ozium, son, that bitch, it, that shit. The original though, my nigga. Let me it gotta be original. Don't get none of that flavor shit that That's they got. Like, they got different sense. Get original. Real. Okay. I'm not there. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Look at, that. Look at that. Bomb taking care of this own. You see it? That's what's up. <laughs> Juju came in town um last weekend for the draft. And we had the pod. And I was like, yo, Juju, hit me up. We're going to hang out. My dog Juju is with me, hitting these young streets. We mobbing. I took him to Lower East Side Chase. You know what I'm saying? Good, good or <laughs> good orchard. First of all, we went to Mike Tyson. We went to the uh Mike Tyson um dispensary right there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one was real cool. I had never been in there. Um, What's up, Jerv? My nigga, hold up. That's I didn't pull up to the motherfucking crib yeah, multiple like do, motherfucking times. Nice. I ain't yeah. never hopped on no subway. Now, granted, I come prepared, but... I ain't never hopped on no sub and going to no lower east side or going to the upper west side and going to all these dope ass dispensaries or cool ass coffee shop fucking vibe. My nigga, I'm hate, cool. bro. <laughs> like, what's hate, up? Right now. Like, hate, bro. I'm not going to rock Jerk. bluey gear time. out with you, nigga. Like, come this on. This my first hey, time hey. in New York. Like, this to, to this capacity is the, the thing that it was. This was my first time ever in New York in this capacity. Like, I've been there for a fight. And I've been there like one night, and then I, the other time it was like one time, one night as well. But this was my first time to be able to walk around the streets of New York, bro. So he was just, don't do me like that, bro. I don't do my you dog do, do, do. like that. Well, oh, it's another no. difference. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Jerv, Jerv, hold on. Uh, let me ask a question to Juju. Juju, yeah. And any time in your outing with, with Trey, did you fall asleep? Absolutely not. 
Okay. I, I had a bro, I had a fantastic bro. I had fun as hell, bro. Like for real. Prosecution bro. rest. <laughs> My nigga, I'm not falling asleep when the sun's out. <laughs> like, what's hey, up? So, like, yes, you have. Have. No, yeah. my nigga, I fall, nigga, I fall asleep when we stop moving. If we sit down and that fucking the high just the live take over the body, my nigga, and we eat a the fucking we in a bar and now the lights dim, nigga, my body goes to straight chill mode. But as soon as we gotta make a move, I'm not fucking sleep. It's not like I'm stumbling over like oh I can't go. I'm active. Just don't let me sit down. That's the key. I'm surprised y'all didn't figure that out yet. Shout out hey, to me, man. My, my, my lawyer fee is money well spent. He's still fighting. Hey, dog. Well, <laughs> well, after the trial hey, is over. That's already, that's already said I was cool, so I can't uh, come back to trial. You can probably bring it back to trial, but I'm good. I'm not going back in front of hey, y'all. So the, the crazy thing about this, Jerv, is that you always come out here when we have preset plans. There's no wiggle room to go other places. You'll pull up, and it's like, we already going somewhere. And the two times that you've been here, like I said, that's why it means teasing you. When we went to the bar, your ass was sleepy. Your ass, during we went the to the hookah spot. Dur you were sleepy. The during the day. During the day. Oh, like, no, I wasn't sleeping until the hookah spot, my nigga. I, when we was at the bar, nah, dog, come on. Come on, don't do that, yo. Don't do that. You had, you had, low, you had low energy. Spot. You had low I was energy. hot. Niggas, what do y'all want me to do? I get high, nigga. Like, why do, do niggas, niggas want me to get high and start fucking doing karaoke and shit? I don't do other right, shit. Is, I do weed. I, I'm chill. This. this is the only problem with what you're saying, Jerv. Trey was just explaining my experience in New York, in which I didn't know all the things you was just saying was true, but you just explained every single thing we did. And I still was in the bar Harlem shaking by, it was nighttime by this point. We smoked weed all day long. We was drinking all day. <laughs> we walked from here to there. Nigga, I'm I was in the mood. I'm nigga. I'm old. Not, bruh, but what I'm telling you is you inserted yourself into this Segment. <laughs> oh, I that you I just want to go get high. So you just explain all the reasons your ass wasn't invited. Respectfully, I love you. So love you too, bro. We end, up, we end up going to the dispensary. <laughs> we walk down Orchard. You know, oh, Juju dress head to toe, got his Juju fit on, lit. People stopping, bro. <laughs> Running into it. Bro. <laughs> no, you had your shit on. You put the shit on. Everybody, you know what I'm saying. Juju a fucking star, first of all. I seen a nigga do the king, the uh, Prince Akeem. You know, niggas just fall out. He see, bro. Oh. It's like, oh my God, Juju. I'm like, oh shit. I'm yeah, like, am man. I am I it's missing dope. this? I don't know what's popping. Yeah. But then, bro, bro did act like that. He was like, oh my God. Do y'all know who this? I'm like, oh shit. Okay. I know who I'm with. So then we mobbing, <laughs> right? He like, I fuck with New York. He just seeing joints like... Everything cool. You know, it's a nice day. We mobbing. We end up going, stopping by awake to see Angelo and shit. We checked the shit out. Yeah. So then after that, I'm like, bro, you And it you was home? it was five, bro. We went to a shop where he was trading clothes. Like he or, or not even trading clothes. You go in there and talk to him and he'll give you his price on the vibes. Like I ain't never yeah, been in those he was, situations he was, like that. He was dumping his clothes, his personal collection. Right. Angelo was selling the joint and Todd. So we end up doing that. I'm like, yo, you want to go get drinks? We go get drinks. We leave there. Oh, no, we went to Soho House, Ludlow House. Hung out yeah. there. Oh, we didn't take it on a Dumbo? No, hold on. Hold okay, on, we bro. on the tour. Bro. We was bro. on the tour. We go to Ludlow. And, and, and side note, them couches we were sitting on in Ludlow, that music, and we were smoking. Jerv, your ass would have been through, my nigga. Like, <laughs> bro, you would have been knocked out, bro. It was couches, <laughs> and we was high as hell, and it was a DJ playing nothing but them. And that's a, and that's a whole nother thing in itself, <laughs> bro. We, me and Juju smoke. Me and Juju faced two blunts, right? Two oh. before we even got in Lolo. So we in there. <laughs> the vibes is already. That was your first time having shishito peppers too. Hell yeah, bro. Had bro, shishito I was, peppers. I was a country ass nigga experiencing all this shit for the first time, bro. I was having the time of my life, bro. <laughs> So we that in nigga there. Says mosquito peppers. Wow. Listen, there, bro. So I'm like, hey, you know that that drink Jerv was teasing me about. I said, yo, I need a spicy mark. I said, Juju, what you want? He said, shit, fuck it, I'll try it. Man, we got them motherfucking uh 
the the, the picture of the shit. Yeah, man, bro. dude was lit, vibing, bro. bro. Bro, let me see. It's tequila and spicy. Uh, I don't know where the, whatever the fuck I know. It's tequila in this motherfucker. Let's do it. <laughs> this shit is going crazy, bro. Pictures. So now, so now we drunk and high. We mobbing through Soho. I run into one of my coworkers. She like, yo, what y'all about to do? We like, oh, man, we about to go to Dumbo House. I tell, I'm like, if I'm gonna take you to Lolo, I gotta take you to Dumbo. We yeah, getting the, there. The com- the, the com- compare and contrast. Hey, no diddy. we getting there. The views there, <laughs> everything right there. The fucking um, DJ playing some shit. I get a whole nothing. That's the picture y'all see with Juju with the fucking picture of the uh of the drink. Yeah. We lit. D- I'm oh, like, point, bro, bro. DJ ain't play one trash song. You know how usually, but by, by the end of the night, a DJ will play Lil John. <laughs> nah, none of that shit, bro. All new flavor that I ain't really was up on. So salute to the DJ. I forgot her name. Is the deck so, open or they yeah, still, we went still we went out there, but yeah. like I said, it was just DJ Kyra, I think it was. We we were so cooked that we needed to sit down because we was yeah. just lit. It was just one of them days, and I was like, you know what? I owe Juju oh. one of these days in general. Look, Jerv, you be so jealous, man. No, we just sit down. Uh-huh. Like, we ain't needed to pass out. Just, we just I'm sit down. <laughs> we just had to sit down, bro. So <laughs> overall, it was a good time. I was glad I was. I had the actual time to kick it with Juju and show him a good time. And you know what I'm saying? We could have, like, if we had more time, probably would have took him some more places. But I was glad yeah. that I got to hang out with my dog. And Chase, hey, I think you were gone. I, I think, you, too, I think you was out of town or somewhere. But you know, hey, what I mean? appreciate like, you showing me around. Dog. That's love, right? Niggas, don't, you pull up to a city, folks be so stuck in their routine sometimes, and they forget. Oh, uh, Trey, no, this nigga you Trey is in, this nigga Trey in the street, son. Trey, <laughs> yeah, bro, I Trey appreciate you, bro, for spending yeah. time with the kid, bro. Trey, he, Trey, Trey is definitely one of them niggas. He, he is willing to spend a day with me and him had a day. Now. The nigga he likes to entertain. Like, yeah, I was gonna say Trey, and Trey hung out. A good, yeah. good yeah. house. Yeah. For hey, sure, yeah. that nigga Trey for sure is a good nigga to hang Look, out. Jerry about to fucking shoot somebody. <laughs> <in the bottom. laughs> Trey, good host. Trey, good. I, I literally have no complaints anytime I, uh, anytime I, I put it up there. No complaints. Uh, <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, but God, we 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 been hard on Jerv, man. Pause, but like we need to take it. We need to take it easy because this man is in mourning. His fucking superhero. I this nigga go. Yo, man, Jerv, <laughs> how 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 much did you cry? Like when when you saw him fell down, you had to tears had to come out your eyes because he was playing so well. He just completes. I said I said this on the radio today. I said that might be the illest injury I've ever seen in my life. Bro, Usually, that, when a nigga get hurt, it's like some whack shit. Oh, he turned like he tries to go up and like he he hobbles or he falls yeah. down or some shit. I've never right. seen a nigga do some ill shit and get hurt. Bro, I was watching this shit hey. and 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 I was in the house. I was like. Ooh, oh, like oh, I never right, did that right. back to back at one right. time. That bruh, shit. I don't think that enough people talked about it, bro. Bro, left eye don't blink, bro. He got no baby oh. doll eyes. Hey, did you see the eye? <laughs> that motherfucker, let his eye roll. <laughs> relax, yo. Y'all gotta fucking relax. Yo, and that's on me. It creates a situational problem. I don't mean to be offensive, but I was shocked by that. I'm like, damn, my boy, I left eye I ain't closed. Hey, once. the craziest shit happened, right? I'm watching it at Fancy Free. I mean, the bar that we went to before we went to Say Less, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. there and it's mad New York Knicks fans, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. That shit happened. Niggas was like, oh, then niggas start cheering when he got hurt. I said, oh, this nasty. Yeah, yeah, I said, this man. nasty. That's nasty. Then, niggas, then niggas, niggas don't even talk about that. Thank hey, you. And, oh, and, then, nice, and, then, and then niggas was like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Hey, hey. I said, wow. oh, I got to get oh, out of here. The That's the fucking clip right here. Player. Nixon somebody, four, man. Somebody, somebody, oh, hold on, Chase. <laughs> Come on. Hold on, Chase. I was at, I was at the he game. He was at the game. Jerry, you got to fight back. You got to fight back. Jerry, I'm going to let everybody go. Trey, no, I'm, a Knicks nigga. I'm a Knicks nigga. Ain't no, look, look, it's Philly. If a nigga would have got hurt in Philly from the, Knicks, from the Knicks, let Jalen Brunson would have got hurt in Philly, what they would have did. Right you know what they would have did. They would have Yo, you're still t- talking about shit that happened in 1977. Nigga niggas would have started putting thunder sticks. Niggas love, <laughs> niggas love doing <laughs> ill shit and then bringing up our old shit. Nigga, y'all just no, did it. No, That's no. disgusting. That's was, nasty no, work. No, Tw- no, in, a, in the year of 2024, my brother, when we're all supposed to be <laughs> so aware and conscious of everyone's feelings, y'all telling me that when y'all see this man who who's working hard to get back at the prime of his... 
one of the illest moves ever. He's hurt, and y'all cheering for him. That's nasty work, man. That's nasty. Disgusting. They didn't Can't do that in the it. garden. They did that at the bar. I don't remember nobody in the garden cheering. Like no, the garden went crazy. I was watching it on TV. Too, I my God. it, and I was like, baby, you see these niggas? <laughs> No, they was, was rocking too, they my God. Too and then I was like, wait a minute. This nigga left I don't blink. <laughs> this nigga is too I'm glad bro came back though. You know what I'm saying? He came yeah, back and he was hoping for sure. Jer, I really wasn't you, too worried. You need to tell me that, right? Or you, no, or you, no. Damn, look at the see. No, so what are we saying? That? No, bro. Listen, when it first happened, I was just like, my homie, I watch on my homie, and he well, he's going crazy because he didn't peep. Then he's on the on the ground. I'm I'm looking right at him. Be at that point, I'm just still because I'm like, oh, this is just isn't fucking fair. Like, God damn, like can this whether we lose or not? I just want to see my man's get one playoff run for his career to wh- whatever happens. I just want to see him healthy. And within when they showed the replay, the replay I didn't see anything. I'm like, oh, he's fucking tripping like he did last time. He's he's got the reconstructed knee. He's probably shouldn't be. He probably should not be back as fast. But anytime he feels anything, his natural instinct is going to be to overreact. I told he was coming back in the game. Yo, we are good over here. We're not tripping. We are not tripping. That was a little light jab no, yesterday. Yeah, look, look, look. I'm gonna come clean. Y'all not, y'all not as good as it. Joel. Joel and Bead has to be so good for y'all to just be good, because the rest of y'all team is not good. Tobias Harris is not playing good basketball. At okay, all. that's one player that's not that, playing good. That's, that's one. That Paul, Reed, Paul Reed is not contributing. Best okay. Ball, I think I think ball. I think the fact that y'all have Paul Reed should only play a certain amount of time. But look, but look, no, I do think Nick Nurse outcoached Tibbs yesterday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you yeah. that. Um, that first quarter was bad for the Knicks, and the Knicks yeah. came back, and the Knicks got a good lead on Philly, and Joel Embiid had got hurt at this time, and he wasn't on the court. And then when he came back, he was just sitting in the paint the whole time because they was hiding him on defense, and the Knicks fell for it. And then eventually the Knicks was able to get y'all moving up and down the floor more fast break. They start shooting more threes at a certain point in time and got y'all moving. And I feel like that's what got y'all out of y'all shit. So I feel like if so, if, if y'all bigs is not contributing, because Kelly Oubre played well the whole game. He yeah. played well the whole game. But y'all don't have anybody else contributing other than Maxie and B. And I think that's going to be tough for y'all to beat the Knicks because the Knicks know, you know how to stay You know who surprisingly had a good game? Time. Lowry. Lowry did his thing yesterday. Lowry. Yeah, he bought out. He, he had a real good game. I, was, yeah. I was shocked. I was like, I mean, I, I shouldn't be shocked. But, you know, they try to write him off as soon as he get old. And bro yeah. was making shots. He was doing yeah. his shit. I'm just like, and he all right, just cool. control. He was just controlling the game too when yeah. they got down with MB. Like you know, to see it live, you know, he kept everybody level because Maxi had moments where he wasn't getting calls and he was kind of getting frustrated. You feel me? And Lowry was able to like keep everybody chill and shit was like that. that. And Maxi was that the Scott up. Foster? Scott Foster was was uh, yeah yeah Scott yeah. Foster was Scott, Scott Foster's a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Listen, everything y'all said. I hear y'all. Sounds great. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Go y'all. Check motherfucking rock. We gonna see niggas on Monday night. We we are good. I saw what I needed to see. I trust my coach to make the adjustments and figure out what to do in that little bit of time where he needs. Buddy Hill to got a MB. Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill needs. To, he's not gonna always this miss is, all those open shots. But this he was is Buddy Hill's first on shot. Here's the thing. This is Buddy Hill's first playoff series, brother. They will play first. better at home. They'll play and better looked, at home. And he looked like it, right? Sure. He looked like it. Like, he looked he he looked like it. Can I do the quickest bossa nova in the history of bossa novas? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Bossa nova. We back in. Oh my God! Oh, oh man. Bruh, Google check the pictures. Do your Google's oh, latest. Check, 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 no check rock. Yeah. Right. Oh my God! All right. So, who's winning this series, Jer? Knicks we know your Knicks. answer. Knicks. Jason, who you got? Knicks. You got the Knicks and what? Uh, Knicks and six. I got Knicks and six as well. Um, I mean, who you got? You muted. Knicks and five. Yeah. Okay. Um, Juju. Nixon five. I got Nixon, Nixon five, five as well. All right. Um, six is in six. 
put mine on back. I don't care if you are, you know, sixes and six. Get it. Another series, uh, <laughs> dog, the Phoenix saying. Suns and Timberwolves, bro. Anthony Edwards yeah. was cutting they ass dog. up. Dog, sure. and letting them know about it. It's, it cut their ass up is one thing. Letting them know Diddy. about it is something else. Talking that's cash shit, bro. That nigga was balling. Cold. Going like, he had the pink lows on. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Mike Conley was hard. Backing, him back, backing him up. Nigga. And nothing, nothing they and can they do. Young, and and they young niggas, man. You know, it, Miles Reed, Alexander Walker. I feel like their yeah. coach is underrated. Like, he, he needs to right. talk about more. Like, he put them young niggas in position. He got Carl Anthony Towns in a situation where he don't even have to have a big game no more. He could just go right. out there and play. Rudy go out there and play. But they yeah. are a very good coach team. The young niggas come in off the bench and get to it. You feel me? And I think I that's going to so be the confused. I was so but confused what a- when they had Rudy Gobert on KD early. Um, but it worked. It was on some shit yeah. like out of and Katie got it going. He got it going. D book, I don't know what the fuck D book was on. I, 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 D book, I, I, I don't. What, what let's I talk about, about let's just, just talk about, take this shit serious, bro. Like, I don't right. think D book take shit serious, bro. You can pull up with the white headband and some goddamn green or orange <laughs> shoes. Now, bro, this is the playoffs, bro. Get your shit lined up or something, man. Take either put a purple headband on or put some purple shoes on, bro. Act like you give a fuck, man. What about what about Bradley Bill? This nigga is a shell of himself. It's, it's not, it's not know. his fault. It's not no, his I'm fault. just saying, I'm just saying, it's like, is, is he just kind of like one of those big bus trades at this point? Because he not yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think, think so. so. I nah. Think, I, no, I do. I do. I think. I think Bradley Beal was put in a situation that was not meant for him to succeed in this situation. Like they, mm-hmm. I don't think they thought this through with the he trade. He the fall. He the fall. He the fall guy Bradley of it. Fault. He the fall yeah, guy. It ain't Bradley Beal fault, dog. Like, Speaking of fall guy, fall guy with um Ken and old girl coming out in, in theaters this week. Check your uh, local station. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Blunt and Ken. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Gosling. But I do oh. think I just think that I just think that Suns roster is just not good. You know, no, it's not. No, and it's and it's not going to get better. That's the thing, Grayson. Them losing Grayson Allen yesterday was possibly the worst possible thing that could happen to them because, like, mm, no. they couldn't make shots, and then also them, like you said, them young niggas. No, came out hooping. Uh, Nas Reed came out hooping. Jaden yes, McDaniels sir. came out hooping. Like them mm-hmm. niggas, was, they smelled blood, and they looked at the scenario of like, I think it was at to a point where, um, I'm looking, I'm like Nurkic, out of there. Nurkic, Cook. boy, that boy, what oh, happened to Nurkic, bro? He's so yeah. goofy. Oh my God. It's, I'm telling, look, him and Bradley Beal, they they just in a roster that's not built for their game, like or right. whoever's coaching them nah, not using them right now. But I, look, look, and we, I, I know we, we're we only. And get a and get a team we, with fit. We had a we had a leadership <laughs> we had a leadership conversation in in uh, Toronto, and I feel like that team don't have no leadership because like Bradley, I mean um, Devin Booker is supposed to be the leader of the team, and Juju already said like he not giving that energy, and so everybody else just look like they kind of flopping around out there like Nurkic and Bill. They just like whatever. I, I don't I don't like, think the leadership. There's no vi- really there's no vibes, bro. Like you look no, at the vibe on the, on the I think wolves. you do need a leader. Because I was just about to say this about I'm the wolves. Saying. The wolves got got the guys that's like utility guys, like a slow mo. Yeah. You feel me? Who's kind of like yeah. the young veteran? He got hurt. He a leader. You got Conley, who's like a, right. a, a solid presence, veteran presence. Like, you need shit I'm like just that. Looking at this, I'm looking at this box score. I'm looking at this box score, right? You can't beat the Wolves if your big three don't have 25 or more. Straight up. Like each, each. Like you talking about each. Right? Each. Each. each, 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 each right? What did they have? So then... Booker, Katie went 18. Out. Well, what what offense do you run to get them that? See, That's what I'm trying so, to understand. So, right, so here's the thing. In a, right, in a right, and well, they got niggas but, that can all here's, get 40, Here's another thing, what, too. What situation do Here, you put them in? But, but here's the thing that Amin can also speak to, because he's been close to the organization for a very long time. Kevin Young runs that offense. He's the, the new hire for BYU, right? He runs the offense through fucking Devin Booker, right? And yeah. that is a problem in itself because you can't have an expensive decoy standing in the corner, AKA Kevin Durant that's making 40 plus million dollars. Then you got Bradley Bill playing the one. No, no, you no, can't. I'm gonna tell you. The makeup of that I'm, team is so nasty. Go ahead. That's what it is. 
That's no, that's what it is. Like, like y'all saying they don't have leaders. It's not that. It's it's a flawed roster. It's a flawed it's roster. So, yeah, so you, like, 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 like you, like you, Jason, dead. you said, Jason was like, yo, uh, like Mike Conley's a great veteran leader. Like, yes, he is. You know what else he is? A fucking point guard. Yeah, right. like, that, <laughs> have, that's what it is. The only it's point guard they have rostered is fucking. Isaiah, it, and, I, and yeah. Isaiah Thomas is a scorer. He not right. even a true point. Like he can play it, but he he looking for a bucket. I'm looking down at this thing. Eric Gordon, 21 minutes, zero. No. Uh, Drew Eubanks, nine minutes, zero. Hell no. Uh, Has anybody ever noticed? Back quick, the Eric Gordon looked like Kendrick Lamar a little bit. I don't know. It's just well, yesterday he was just saying. I'm like, damn. My bad. Keep going. <laughs> See. Eric Gordon shouldn't be playing 21 minutes in the playoff game in 2024. But they don't. Sorry. But they don't have no choice. You look yeah. down at the bench, it's so like... What you, so what do you do? You run, <laughs> you, run the, you run the offense through KD, and then what do that look like? Because at the end of the day, they're not about to find a point guard. So, But you do yeah. have three niggas who can all go get 40. And you should be able to figure this out in the first round to where you can at least get to the second round and know what you're doing. I just don't know, like, I, I get ideally, what do you run it? Do you run the offense through Kevin Durant? I don't know. The nigga said, or maybe he was just sad. <laughs> <laughs> that was <funny. laughs> hey, I, hey, we only got 12 minutes. I do want to get to the other shit before niggas get yeah. got that hard out. I want to talk about the you know what I'm saying? Bombs. Yeah, I mean what? play playoff basketball. We can we can talk about it all through the through the shit. Let's yeah. talk about the rap shit. That's the reason why I had Chase come on. I know Chase got the, the overall pins, but you the specialist in this situation. Um oh, man. we've <laughs> <laughs> I, I did a I did a timeline, right? Tell me more about this response time. This is starting to get annoying because people are like, oh, well, why your boy ain't dropped seven days since this and this and that? And I'm like, fam, first of all, that nigga Kenny gonna do what the fuck he wanna do. It ain't no, ain't not a not a soul at this point can airdrop and be like, hey bro, I think I think you need to, I think you need to put it out. He just right. nobody has a direct line to convince him to do whatever, right? And, and what's the number one song right now in the in the rap song, hip hop song? Like that song in the world, like that. Song in the world. Like that. for like, like that. three straight weeks. So why why even fuck with that right now? <laughs> so I understand that people are impatient and things of that nature. Cool, but the idea is it, it's interesting that Drake is like now all of a sudden, oh, because he's aggressive and he's dropping. Mm -hmm. LA felt it like cool. This shit is cool. It's funny. It's because that's what I think. To win a battle in 2024, you gotta be funny and witty. He's yeah. doing that, right? And it's like, oh shit, like I actually laughed. The AI shit, cool. It was clever in anything. If anything, to me, I felt like bro cheddar, he played chess. He cheddar bobbed himself, took away the talking points of like, oh, if you was gonna diss me. Bop, 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 bop. Let me now, Kenny, it. show me more of what you can rap and how you going to do this because my life is an open book. Y'all know that I was on TV. Y'all know that I right. did this. You know, I, like, am, I'm I a, am Uncle Tom. I'm all that, bro. You feel me? Like, I do text underage girls. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, my mom. All right, fake Pac. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it was like, it's an interesting standpoint, but I still feel like Kenny is like a sniper on the roof. We don't know where he at. We don't know when he <laughs> gonna shoot. And I feel like in those movies, Drake got a fucking gun and he using up all his rounds, just shooting, hoping that he hit something. And it's interesting because I don't, I, I do like the distance that Drake has come out with, but I'm just thinking like the idea of like, oh, Kenny better hurry up. He better have, he better throw a haymaker, a super I thing. Think, I think, I think this, I think, what you said about Kendrick being a sniper is correct, but Drake has also been in the most beefs in this climate. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. ain't the old days. <laughs> in this climate, Drake has been in two beefs, and he's come out unscathed in both of them. You know what I mean? He's lost yeah. one, well, came well, out better. He well, lost one. He lost one, leveled up. He got in yeah. one, one, and leveled up. And I mm -hmm. think that's why Drake understand. He, I think Drake is at this shit like, Bro, if this is what you want to do, let's do it. Because at the end of the day, dropping these songs, these songs is charting. People are streaming yep. them. They're getting bread off of it. But at the end of the day, Drake is just on some shit. Like, he's he, he's just, Drake just likes to prove that he's, whatever y'all with, I'm with. Yeah. Like, this, this, this Billboard 100, you, I got this on Smash. Do y'all feel? We can do this too. We can do this too. Do y'all feel he, he has rap it. defense? Like, he has what? real good, real good rap defense. Yeah. Like, like the I, I nigga. Don't, I don't, no, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know, bro, you know? because I, I feel like 
for, he got knocked out by Pusha T, right? So it's like we looking at this like defending and all of that. Like the the, the defense ain't really that good because he can't really take a punch like that. You feel me? Like, right. so that's the whole thing. Kendrick hasn't even punched him yet. So we well, saying he got like, good. I feel like he can't he had, take a punch. I, I, you saying from me? No, no, no. Because no, no. no. He, Who's the punch? Yeah. That's Who's Trey saying? saying? He, cause I'm he, saying. he, he went and cried to LeBron right after the, after the push the T thing. So <laughs> you can't say that he got good defense because the theory is that, oh, he's, he's, you know, doing all this shit, but it's like, really, he just shadow boxing in the middle of the ring. If Kendrick yeah. come and hit this nigga, what is he going to do then? Well, That's what I'm looking like at. Like a nigga with the nunchucks in front of Batman. Yeah, exactly. Remember that nigga had a nunchuck? He did like a hundred shit. And he was yeah, like, he doing man, all this shit. Beat your motherfucking <laughs> ass. And then Batman said, man, pow. Like, and shot his ass. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm saying, I'm seeing that shit happen kind of in how Trey said earlier, I'm imagining that. I'm not looking at it like, well, since he done put out two and you ain't put out none, you winning. Nah, I'm just ready to see the response because that mm -hmm. motherfucker might be, like you say, a sniper shot that goes straight yeah. through a motherfucker <laughs> ear to ear, goddamn power. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, hard, it's hard to justify. And I get it because, like, again, I've never seen an artist, again, but we also haven't had this, quote unquote, media uh, that's like, a podcast that's like pushing right you got mall you got academics pushing it every day i've never seen nobody right. really check like honestly go and say all right i'm choosing this side normally it's like okay i'm in the middle this is i'm reporting what's going on but i've seen i've never seen media say i'm team this and this well, is Drake how got, Drake is Drake smart. Drake got all them niggas on lock, bro. On you know, lock. I knew he on was going to do that off the jump. I think the thing with Kendrick is Kendrick is going to be the voice of the rebels and the, and the people who are just like outside of all that shit, like always. Mm -hmm. And I just want, I, my, my thing is this, whenever, whenever Kendrick drops, you feel me? Yeah. I guess if it all calms down mm -hmm. and he drops four months or later, you feel me? It's still going to have the same level of excitement again. And it's just going to peak everybody's right. ears again. And we'll be right back on this rap ferris wheel <laughs> you know what i mean going through the motions all over again but ultimately i think right now drake understands that if you can curb the narrative of like the of like the internet in your favor you'll be all right you can make it through you can make it through. also pusha t has a verse coming out on like that remix the official one soon I don't know what he gonna do. Kanye, what about that Kanye shit, bro? Yeah, that came out, <laughs> bro. Come on, I feel like I, I, I wanted a meme. Point, I wanted a meme yeah. to, to speak. Yeah, to, let's 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 let carpet because, red carpet uh, run because of, because we said J Cole was gonna get shots taken at him. But by who? By the the I'm fucking just, I'm just, the I'm crazy not, nigga? Like right. the, the booty <laughs> fucking tune? Like Kanye is so fucking lame, bro. Like I don't know what the hell. Like at this point in life, bro. Kanye hopping his ass in this shit, bro. The verse better have been ether takeover. The game's over, like, bro. That shit, you get on the motherfucker saying nursery rhymes, nigga. Dissing niggas in nursery bars with memes, nigga. Was lame ass to the side, please, sir. Salute to all your fans. Though. I fuck with Yeezy. Don't get me wrong, but that shit was lame, bro. Kanye need to retire. I'm gonna be honest. No, you don't need to retire. He need to go fucking get help. The niggas. He needs to go with give you one of them jackets where you hug yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right, bro. Like, need to go to them, one of them places where, where the walls is like mattresses. The fact that that like, nigga be sitting next to a nigga like Justin LaBoy is so insane. Like, bro, the, scope of, the, scope of, the scope of Kanye's. As I got my Kanye's on, bro, that's just listening bro, to this. That shit made nigga mad. Bro. I'm sitting there looking at these niggas. Bro, you're sitting next to Justin LaBoy, bro. You one of the greatest artists of all time, bro. What are you hey. doing? No, what happened to I, Master Flex getting I, the exclusive? What happened I'm, to DJ Clue getting the exclusive? What happened to DJ Who Kid getting the exclusive? You get your who yo exclusive to the nigga who make the memes? I'm gonna, I'm gonna Fuck out of here, man. With your big ass shirt on, man. Fuck on, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Ever since they had that video. Salute though to Kanye, my bad. We had that, <laughs> where he had that listening party in Miami, and that nigga Justin LaVoy stood up and like did everything but literally suck that nigga's dick. <laughs> like I like I can't 
even every time one of them nigga memes come, because you know, bitches always be posting that shit on Instagram or just a little boy meme. I'll be looking at it and be like, I can't like I can't even smile at this shit. Cause right, I've man. never seen anyone ride dick so enthusiastically. <laughs> well, a- academics is actually dog gunning he, for that. He's gunning for that position he right makes, now. He yeah, makes academics. He, 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 he makes academics look like the biggest fucking hater ever. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. The way that <laughs> the way that academics and Maul have been acting towards Drake when they receive texts from this nigga is like. They get in a text from a girl they got a crush on, bro. Like this shit is so, I don't even know. Hey, what to Chase, say, bro. Chase handles handles this so much better online yeah. when niggas be like, "Yeah, just text such and such." He dropped the Drewski mean on niggas. He be like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, "I'm so look, I'm so and look, you know, nigga know all these niggas, man. I'm so sick of niggas being on the internet flexing their relationships, man." That shit right, so bro. That shit. Hard. So lame. That shit is so stupid. Like, what are you like? I don't care. My nigga did all these. I'm like, bro, we know y'all know these niggas. I don't need you to right. tell me. So, so, so wait. Before, before these uh, trading and mean bounce, I just want to ask, like, the 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 other biggest conversation that we having over all this shit is the AI. What do y'all niggas feel about the AI oh, before y'all leave? So, so this is. I'm gonna say this real quick because I don't. AI is so new, people don't understand what the fuck it is, right? right? So what what Drake did was he wrote the verses, he recorded the verses, and then used AI to fucking alter the voices so it sound like other people, oh, right? Yeah. What? But when niggas say he used AI, ninety percent of the stupid niggas on the internet think that means. He went to Chat GPT and said, "Make me a diss track where Rick nah. Ross and the- you can hear think- the Drake in the in yeah. the two course." But yeah. niggas are stupid. They think that right. literally the fucking computer came up with the whole thing, and then they could just but, snap back and like. But what yes. do you, what do you think about its use in in media and music specifically? <sighs> I Scary, think, bro. Yeah, like, like I use Chat like, GPT. I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't fucking with it in the arts. Uh, I'm, this is what I'm gonna say. I don't think it can replace real art. Like it can't create a a real verse that like you you would like really fuck with on the same level that a human. Does. It can't create yeah. a real movie, feeling. Uh, right? And feeling and all that stuff. Like Jason, you're a movie guy. There's no fucking AI script that's gonna come out that's gonna no, beat a I real agree. fucking script. Now, if you're talking about some bullshit ass like. Uh, you know, uh, fucking Fast and Furious 45. Mm-hmm. Yes, it could probably do that because it's a right. bunch of Fast and Furious movies and it knows the <laughs> rhythms and shit like that. But like to make right. an actual fucking script that's actually dope and shit, it can never do that. The question is using it in the arts as far as using it to use the voices of people who aren't here. For instance, like the idea of like, I can write a fucking Tupac verse and then have Tupac rap the verse, even though that nigga didn't do it. I don't know how I feel about that. Cause I feel like, I feel like, I'm gonna give you a great example. I saw uh, Showtime, remember, I think we talked about it on, on our show. They did a Wilt Chamberlain documentary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they used remember, AI to do his voice. They used yeah. AI to do his voice, but- And it was they, dope. Like, all, it was all his words. It was all like yeah. letters and right. like his memoirs and like interviews he had done. So they use his actual words, but they use AI to make it so his voice was saying it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought like they did it cool. And the most important thing was his family was like, yes, they yeah, gave him blessings. It. Yeah. Just fucking niggas willy nilly. Wouldn't it be dope if I had a track with me, Biggie and fucking Big L and I wrote right. their verses and then I <laughs> used fucking AI to, to do the voices. I don't think that's cool. Like Trey, Trey, what you think? I mean, I look at it from a perspective of like, I thought, like I said, I, I thought it was hilarious. The idea that Drake used it being funny. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm. it it goes back to the state. It goes back to the moment where the quote unquote West was handed off to handed over to Kendrick. And it was right. like, it was more hilarious. Like, yo, this nigga did use this nigga used their voices. But it didn't, it wasn't nothing that was said that was like very mind blowing. And you could hear Drake's deliver. Like, you know, that's not like. It was it was his delivery. It didn't make it sound like Pac. There's no in the mix. Like he, he wasn't trying would, to. That's what would have made it wavier to me. But that's right, right. And, and that's and, and so right. like I know y'all got to bounce. But 
Go he ahead. definitely missed the moment. He definitely missed the moment on his delivery of like if he actually tried to sound like like what a dude. Like if he was like nephew or like play like Snoop right. in some certain way. Yeah. I thought it was interesting because Snoop gave authorization for his vocals to be used, right? Yeah. And people are like, yo, what the fuck? Then you see game signing with Chuck. I mean with uh with with uh Drake. Hey, and I like, was just texting Dom about this. Honestly, we've been going back and forth about this particular issue because it's like, hold on. Y'all, game, you're from Compton, first off. You feel me? Snoop, yeah, you were the nigga who's on stage who's, yo, you got it. You you got the torch, my nigga. But regardless of either of those things happening, nigga, this the West Coast, this LA, this Cali, like, what are y'all niggas doing? Nigga, this is is America, nigga. How about that? Like, nigga, this is USA versus Canada. (laughs) You feel me? Like, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing? (laughs) We're not as unified as 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 we think we are. That's right? why I'm sitting here looking at Jason like y'all not unified in LA, period, no. bro. So why it's do you nasty. expect y'all exactly. to be unified? Like y'all I'm, niggas I'm, I'm upset. every day in LA, nigga. What you think niggas gonna do? They gonna pick sides, nigga. That's what y'all I think do. Exactly. Like, I think, you I think team Briz Breezy or you team Quavo? Yeah. Like what are we doing? <laughs> <It's not laughs> LA, nigga. What yeah. you mean? You want them niggas to be kumbaya now and go fight yeah. the Canadians, nigga? Y'all <laughs> niggas ain't cool with each other either. Nigga. Yeah, don't. It ain't on no shit like that. So like I looked at it from a perspective, I was like, oh, this is that's interesting. And everybody like, oh, you know, and I like glass, I wish glasses was on because glasses have been poking at Drake and them for like three weeks now. You know what I'm saying? I and did. you know, that's that's oh. Katie Goat. This Drake, Drake is Katie sides, Goat, right? So he be fucking with him all the time. Doing the same thing, bro. This niggas on the Drake side glazing, this niggas on the Kendrick side glazing, this niggas on the Drake mm-hmm. side trying to show they got deep ties and relationships and inside info. This niggas on the Kendrick side. Doing the same right. motherfucking thing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's just one side is more you looked at as more thorough, more black, you know what I mean? More hood from like the Kendrick perspective. And I think people are holding Kendrick to a higher respect. Whereas with Drake, it's almost like he gotta prove himself every time. Mm-hmm. Kendrick don't gotta prove himself. Niggas just want him to respond at the end of yeah. the day. Like that's all it is. You feel me? I think it's I think it's gotten funny where niggas is showing up in I my mean, business now. I, I, the I fact that it got to that point. To prove- no, no, no. I don't, I'm telling you what Chase say. I'm not uh-huh. saying Kendrick has to prove himself because we know he's a a, a great. I'm saying he don't. That's what I'm saying. I I'm not saying. I'm saying, I don't think he has to prove himself either, but I think he has to prove himself in combat. Like I I want. I think that it's not necessarily not that either. Like it's somewhere in between. He doesn't have to prove himself, but he does have to prove himself. You feel me? If that I makes sense. I, no, it does. I, I, I rock it with you. Perfect, it makes perfect sense. But I, I was gonna say this too. Like, I, I was surprised and I liked it when I first heard it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's funny on the first listen. But then, like, when you start to analyze, like, what actually is happening with all this shit, it's actually very, very tricky on just a quite a few levels. So one, like, the the. The shit, the fact that he used Pac and he didn't get approval, you know, Pac has been used as a hologram and other shit, got an approval, didn't get approval because Afini's not with us. So tricky. The fact that he didn't use like Pac's actual flow and like didn't try to emulate him from an artistic standpoint makes it not as good either. And then like you think about the implications of him, of him basically stamping his approval on this type of activity and the widespread like use of it that it's gonna come because like oh Drake did it so now everybody in the basically in music and and probably other industries is gonna point to this specific moment when talking about AI and its use and be like well Drake did it and y'all thought it was cool and everybody thought it was cool so let's go and I think that's just a Pandora's box that he don't really give a fuck about nobody else. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole thing. Like that's part of the difference between at least I feel like the, the factions, right? It's like Kendrick seems to be more of like an empathetic, caring, whatever. And Drake is like, nigga, I fuck your bitch. I'm riding solo. I ride on all you niggas. Like he's, he's absorbed the, the, the mantle of the villain. You feel me? And I respect that from the whole like entertainment, wrestling, all that aspect. But there are like real world implications to what he's doing. You know, Kendrick, Kendrick we need you. 
The other <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. And it was funny. It was funny. Like I came in front because that's what I'm saying. He's a good villain. He's a great villain, bro. Like he plays the role so well. So I can't even like fully <laughs> hate because when it when it when it came it, and this this smashes pushups. By the way, I think this is a ten. Oh, this times, is way better than pushups. I think this is ten times better than pushups because of the innovation, the comedy. Like the shit he, he was even, I, I mean, the Taylor Swift shit was corny. That was also something else. Like, bro, what? Why are you bringing up Taylor Swift? This, this making you sound white again, but you, but the, all the <laughs> other shit was was very funny. You know what I'm saying? And just like, if I was Kendrick sitting in a room, I'd be like, man, this nigga done pissed me off. So, you know what I'm so saying? Let me, <laughs> like, this let me, let me, me ask y'all this. Where just just to just to get an answer from everybody. Where it where would where would be too long a uh, too long of a wait in y'all minds for Kendrick? <clears throat> there is no Five too long years. of a wait for so, so, I mean that that can be that no, that can be your response. Like there is no time limit or like no. you know, because people want the shit in 48 hours and shit. That's because yeah, niggas is bored and on the internet, bro. Exactly. I, <laughs> because I, I, Drake gonna be popping like for as long as far as I can see. I say Kendrick got like five years to respond to this shit, bro. For real. Because if he I drop did, it, okay. whenever he drop it, it's going to go do the Like Chase said, bro. It don't matter. That shit going to do what it's going to do. My my timeline is is the timeline between TakeOver and Ether. So it's like basically like three, three months. Half, like three months. He got, yeah. he got three months. I, I would just say whenever, and Ether, album, whenever an album comes out. If, 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 if the album right. comes out and there's nothing on there, then I'll then that's not have an issue. But 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 to but to Juju's point, I'm gonna just let you go. I mean, the I if he does take longer and he drops some shit in his super fire, I'm probably will change my answer. <laughs> that's what it, yeah, that's what it comes down to. Like niggas is mad because it's not immediate, like like you said, because niggas are boarding on the internet. But the moment it drops, if it's fire, you will all is forgiven. Like at that point, and yeah. then you just turn all you would work away. It was worth the yeah. wait, my nigga. I know, and, 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 and honestly, yeah. Trey, it's not even that. You're just gonna turn and look at the other nigga and say, "All right, now what?" Like, right, oh, right. your turn, basically. It, so. Yeah, and this shit, and this shift, it never, it never stops. And also, yep. how do you even declare a winner? What do you say? What do you like? Well, oh, we yeah. declare a winner in the pussy team. That's a winner. Yeah. 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 The, the, the hood will always decide. Yeah. Who winners declared right. for sure. Yeah. There will yeah. be. A we may not agree. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It, it will. Cause it's still niggas, cause it's still niggas talking about Duppy freestyle, and I'm like, ah, no, 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 bro. Hurt. <laughs> no. Hurt. no. To be realistic, though, like these disses, like these days, like salute to the disses and the, the courage that it takes to diss people these days. But it's not like how it used to be, bro. Like I went back and listened to Takeover, bro. <laughs> You was a ballerina. I got the pictures. I seen you, Ma D. Like, yeah. bro, yeah. like it's, this is different. Like, it's like today's era of dissing. Kendrick just can say one little bar and it means so much. These niggas the world, don't know, you know each other like that. You feel me? So knew each other I'm still taking day. it with a grain of salt. All this shit. Like, you feel me? I'm happy that we get more music. You did right, and that's what I feel like. At at the crux of all of this, you know, everybody was saying hip hop was having a down year. Blah blah blah. But this shit reawakened the game. You see how right. many people is engaging this shit online. How many people is you know interested in in everything that's going on? And like you said, you got all the motherfucking scholars dissecting. Well, when he said the pull the coffin out your mouth and blah blah blah, like niggas is over analyzing. Which is I love it. You know what I'm saying? Like just just be interested in this shit. Like I want people to have fun. The on the other side, I don't like. And I don't know if y'all have experienced this, like niggas criticizing you for having an opinion online about something or niggas being like, and, and this might be different for Chase because he knows people. So it's like, I'm not talking about the people who have relationships with niggas, but like, if you're just a fan of something and you want to talk about the art, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought Drake got him here, but blah, blah, blah. Kendrick still could do this. And niggas is like, looking at you funny or feeling away because you talking about rap on the internet or talking about something that you like on the internet like i just feel like that shit is weird like i see a lot of that going around as well and i'm like niggas should just be allowed to have opinions on shit that's you know going on like people always be trying to make more of shit than it is you feel me definitely yeah. man gotta Facts. i mean look i love rap beef <laughs> <All right. laughs> I love hip hop. 
Exactly. You know what J. Cole should, should I'm mean, not J. Cole. You know what Kendrick should not do? What? At his come next on. concert, get on stage <laughs> and apologize on, on, for all do of this shit. Don't <laughs> do that. Like, don't do that. You know what, bro? How many Drake fans in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's what God. kids should do right now, bro. Just, just let bygones be bygones, be bro. <laughs> We're going to end on that? <laughs> yeah, we can end on that right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, for me, for Big Jer, for Jason Madison, for Juju, Chasing Cash, this has been an episode of Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker. <laughs>